Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we present another in the series of war air stories by that ace of all air story writers, George Bruce. George Bruce was a pioneer in flying. His stories are reflections of his own crowded life and of the lives of other American war pilots. They are published exclusively in Aces Magazine, which, incidentally, has the largest newsstand sale of any magazine devoted to flying stories. The scene of today's story is laid in the envoy sector of war-torn France, the fog-hung flying field of the American 5th Squadron. Cochrane a red-headed Irish boy taxis his plane to a halt before number one hangar, drags himself out of the seat, and is met by Hendrick, the squadron CO. All right, all right, Major, ask me where they are, where Green is and Burgess and Willis. Go ahead, ask. I'm sorry, old son. You'll have to go to Germany and ask that devil about house. He got those boys. Set us up in a morning like this to attack a fiend as smart as that German ace. Send us up in a bunch of lousy crates that ain't no more than floating rat traps. You know, these wallops were taken from Von Haus and his damn 31st Jagdstaff on accidents. They're handed out by superior flyers and the best ships in the world. And we got it this morning, let me tell you. Easy, lad, easy. What the hell do they mean by sending us up to fight that flock of buzzards? We never had a chance. Von Haus got loose. Nobody could stop him. God, how that Prussian can fly. First he shot down Willis and Burgess, and then he got on young Green's tail. What happened to him? Oh, what the devil do you think it happened to a kid just out of school? One house cut the ship right out from under him, the baby killer. I'm damn sorry, Cochran. Oh, sure, sure. Well, here's something to be really sorry about. John Comoran tried to save Green. Comoran sped went after one house and that black fucker with the white skulls painted on the wings. And then... Oh, God. Kid, kid. Oh, go on, let me go, Mom. I'm all right. God, don't tell me Comoran to... I'm telling you that you've lost the best commander that a flight ever had. He wasn't a kid like the rest of us. Captain Cormoran could fly. If he'd had something to fly in. And he could have got one house, too. Why didn't he go by me like a bat out of hell? I could see his face with a twisted nose and his big grin and his jaw sticking out like a dreadnought. You know that tough face of his, Major. Well, for once, it looked happy. So Captain Cormoran was shot down. No, no. His lousy crate conked on him. His motor went dead and his ship stopped flat in midair. And then Von House rolled over under him and let go with both guns. I saw Comoran fall, over and over, blazing like a comet. He was fighting to straighten her out right to the last. But I saw him hit the ground, Major. Oh, I can't stand it, Hendricks. I can't stand it. Comoran hit, and he hit in German territory. There was a big flash. Stop it. Stop the pain. Oh, I'm burning. Baby killer's got me. <sighs> Where am I now? Where am I? Oh, the pain. Oh, my boy, Yangi. Cinder comes to life, eh? Caught oh. in Himmel, but there's one tough piece of beef steak. Oh, I, I can see. Where am I? In the field oh. hospital where you have been for three days unconscious. Thanks to me, you are alive. I'd watch you here. Oh. You're from house, huh? <laughs> the baby killer. The burns, fine. Oh. Oh. Dr. Dietrich says you are to live. Yeah, I can save you, young man. Oh, for God's sake, doctor, stop the pain. In one moment, you shall sleep again. The Captain Van House has come for a word with you. Yeah, Van House. Speak quickly here, Captain. He's in no condition. To Look, you Yankee. They make you a proposition. What? Proposition? Oh, go away, I'm dying. You are not dying, my friend. Your brains were no more fatal than the broken legs and smashed ribs. The greatest doctor of the fatherland has saved you to live. Oh, damn you, what do you want? Listen to me. You will live, Yankee, but what a life. You know how you are burned in the face, my friend. Burned beyond human recognition. You have no face at all. It is to laugh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You are without any face at all. You understand? The goggles save the eyes from the flames, but the rest is gone. Gone. You want to live with such a skull? Dang. The great Dr. Data can save you from such a fate. The master surgeon will make you a face. Yes, Herr Doctor. Yeah, fine new face. In time of splendid face. 
Have I not done it before? <laughs> I have made faces out of nothing. God knows there's flesh enough on hand to work with. Oh. Yeah, Yankee. Mm. A new face, but only on one condition. What's your game, Van House? What do you want of me? Live as you are, burned faceless, you. Well, mm. you will not like it so. Mm. A veritable Frankenstein, eh? But if you agree to what I want, you shall be as good as new. Lips, cheeks, you shall have a splendid nose. Do you have to torture me? What do you want, then? This is my plan. You will pilot a plane. You will stage sham battles with me. You will tour Germany to get on exhibition flights. You will speak through me to my people. You will be flying one of your own inferior ships. You will fly against me, one house, the greatest of German aces. And I will fly rings around you to prove the superiority of German flyers and planes against allied men on ships. My country will flock to join the service. And I will gather together the greatest young couple in all the world. Our enlistments have been slow. But you and I will bring them in. You will promise yourself to the Kaiser for a face. Get away. Get out of here. I'll strangle you, you rotten dog. Nein, nein. You will give your word of honor to do as I say. For a face, you will do it. I'll kill you for this one, House. I'd rather live with the face of a pig. And you have it, my friend. Hey, Doctor. The mirror. Here, Herr Captain. There, my fine Yankee. Take a good look. The mirror does not lie, my friend. That is you. You like it, eh? For God's sake. Take it away. Take it away. God, take it away. I haven't any face. I haven't any face. Oh, God, I promise. I'll fly with you. And so, my friend, the day has come to remove the mask. Off with the bandages, and you shall see yourself physically perfect again. How you feel today, huh? I feel good enough. So I got a new mug, have I? Ah, good morning, Captain Van House. Good morning, Herr Doctor. Well, well, Captain Conrad. You look yourself in the eye today. Let's get it over with, then. Into the chair. So, it will hurt a little. Yeah. I've got it done. There, the last standing. Marvelous. Perfect. The man is an adonis. Give me that glass. By God in heaven. Whose face is that? <laughs> that's me, is it? So you think that's me? You lousy, rotten punk of an army man. Come on, break it. He's choking me. Come here, Say I have him. What's the matter, you dog? Are you not satisfied? Cupid himself never had a better mouth. I'd like to break your neck for this, you bosh hound. Give me a face, did you? A face like a little boy. Stop that kicking or I riddle you. You have a face, have you not? Better than that green skull you were left with? You should complain. Do not your countrymen name me the baby-faced killer? Himmel. The face of a baby, then, is just what you deserve. Are you going on tour with me at once? You will not break your word. All right. What the hell do I care? I'm not John Comer anyhow. I'll go. Leave me alone for a minute, will you? I'll go. So, oh, we leave you alone for a few minutes. Come on. That's not me. I'm not John Comer. Not for this sweet map. It was John Comer that made that bargain with those devils. I'll smash that promise the first chance I get. I'll kill one house if it's the last thing I live to do. Another day. Does this cursed rain never stop? And another bunch of those kids from the ground school for me to take it for the slaughter. I tell you, Major Hendricks, I'm sick of it. Sick of it, you hear? We're all sick of it, boy. But this seems the only way of stopping it. You'll find the new man over... Man, is it? Bah. What our outfit wants is another John Comorant to run the show. Poor old John. It's been over a year since Comorant went. And the Jerry's have been laying it all over us ever since. Where do they get those pilots? The sky around here is full of new ones and good ones all the time. 
We need a man like Cormorant. Cochran, I haven't wanted to show you this, but I've got to. What is it? Came through from GHQ last night. Let me have a look at it. To all pilots of the Air Service AEF, it is reported that one Captain John Cormorant, formerly of the 5th American Pursuit Squadron, is now in active service in Germany, assisting Baron von Haus in spreading propaganda to discredit the Allies and bolster the enemy morale. Oh, by heaven, Hendricks, this can't be true. Who started this rot? Why, why, Captain Cormorant? Major Hendricks, come in. Major Hendricks. There's a man outside who insists on seeing you, sir. Straggler, by the looks. Says he was a flyer with the British Air Force. Wants to join our outfit. He's unarmed, sir. Turn him over to the guard. Don't turn me over to the guard, sir. I'm a pilot. Can't find my bloody outfit. What's your name, you? Name? I can't remember, Major. I got a knock in the head. But I promise you I can fly. I've been in the base hospital at Roselle. Turn him over to the guard. Have the O.D. call Vozell. Get a line on him. Yes, sir. Come on, you. All right. Listen, Cochran. Yes. Did you get a look at that chap's face? I did. Something familiar about the eyes. He carried himself like a flyer, but a queer, young-looking face. Yes, it was, Chris. And he gave you a damn funny look. Boy's face. Well, why not? Why not? The fifth pursuit is getting to be nothing but a damn kindergarten anyway. What this report, sir? Do you mean to tell me that you believe... It's an attack, sir. Come on, Captain. Let's go. Yes, that man got away. By God, he's under that gang of new men. Look, look, he's taken off. Stop that man. These walls, they get just one of us. Stop him. Stop him. Get that man there. Hey. Look. Look, my God, that's one house's ship. That one with the skulls in the wings. Look out. He's off. God, that man's a flyer. He's shooting already. Look at that man climb. Hey, hey, they're dropping on him. Look, Hendricks. Look, he's got the one on his port wing. There, there, it's crashed. That house is dropping on him. He's got him, Cochran. No, he's no. passed away. Good, good. That fellow's got the second death here. Yes. Did you ever see such a thing? Yes, who is that baby-faced kid? Hendricks, Hendricks. Van House is missed. Look at the kid, Chandel. Hey, hey, Van House is on his tail. Look out, him! The kid's going to get him. Get him, kid. Let him go. Look at that kid go. Yeah, he's got him, Hal. He's got him. He's got Van House. The kid got the German ace. Van House falls. They're both falling. There goes the German. And there's the kid. Right in the middle of the field. Is he dead, Major? Did they get him out in time? A bad crash. Face is all smashed up. But that seems about all. I'm all right. Is that you, Cochran? What's that? Is that you, kid? You know me? All the time. I'm. Oh, I'm Cormorant. What is this you're saying? You? Cormorant? Yeah. It's me, kid. Oh, what's left of me? Oh, John. I'm done for, Cochran. Oh, no, no, Captain, no. You've got to pull through. The fifth needs you, John. The fifth needs you. I'm all through, kid. My face. Oh, well, that'll be all right, Captain Honest. It will. They'll fix that face up. You mean this face is Rick? Did I crack up that pan? Say. Oh, don't, don't, please, Captain. You've got to hang on. We need you, John. Okay, youngster. Only this time, tell the sawbones to give me a nose I can thumb. Thank you.